Mm-hmm. Today we're going to do a dessert that really near and dear to me. Now, so wine is something that is traditional in my household. I was born into Islam. My family is Muslim. I grew up in a Muslim household. So for every Eid, waking up in the morning, getting ready for Eid prayers, the house would be filled with this aroma of spices and, you know, the lovely smell of this delicious dessert. Just smelling this and tasting this has always bring back memories of my mother making this for us for Eid. So I'm going to make this recipe as close to hers as possible. I'm doing a little difference because I man can't really deal up with the dairy and thing. So I'll be using almond milk instead of cow's milk. But if you want to use full dairy, go ahead and use full dairy. And I really can handle too much sweet thing. So usually you would use condensed milk to sweeten this, but I'm not using condensed milk because that would be too sweet. We're using the um, maraschino cherries. And for me, that does add enough sweetness to the dish. And yes, I know everybody does make sawine in their own way, um, especially if you know Muslims. If you grew up eating sawine, Chances are your mom, your grandmom, your dad, your grandfather, whoever, would have make it in a way that you know. This is the way I know. So please refrain from commenting and saying, that isn't how you just make sawain. This is the way I know how to make it. And trust me, it just tastes real good. Now the only real prep we need to do here is to really smash the cardamom pods to reveal the seeds inside of them. And that's where a lot of the flavor from the cardamom comes from. So, other than that, it's just to uh, head over to the stove now and get started. So, as I mentioned earlier, I will be using almond milk for this. But if you want to use regular cow's milk, or even if you want to use goat's milk and, you know, support the local goat farmers, by all means, use goat's milk or cow's milk. Five cardamom pods, some clove, piece of cinnamon, grating some fresh nutmeg. And of course, the Bay of Bays, one bay leaf. Secret ingredient here. Not really a secret because I'm sharing it. You must put a pinch of salt. Adding salt will just bring out all the different flavors in the dish. So do not skip adding salt. Salt is an integral part of this thing. So have the flame on medium heat. And you really want to take your time here. You don't want to rush this at all. Let the spices slowly impart the flavor into the milk and in about 15 minutes or so, it'll be ready. So I'm chopping up some almonds here to add to the dish. And so wine is the kind of thing that real subject to personal preference. If you want to use pistachios, use pistachios. If you want to use cashews, use cashews. And for the fruits, I mean, the way I know it is the maraschino cherries. But if you wanted to use prunes, dates, um, some people just use um, craisins, you know, um, dried cranberries, raisins, sultanas. Like, for me, I don't think it have a right and a wrong way to do this. Now for the most important part of the process, and that is parching the vermicelli. Now, we say vermicelli, but the actual pronunciation is vermicelli. It is Italian, this is a pasta, so you could use it for like stir fries or anything, but I know vermicelli for saline. So some people don't parch the vermicelli, and that's fine if you don't want to parch it. But for me, the kind of flavor that I get when you parch it and then add it to the milk, is almost a kind of coffee, kind of vanilla, mocha, kind of something that has happened there. Listen, I can't eat sawine if it do have parched vermicelli, but that's just my preference. I'm not saying that one better than the other. Actually, yes, I'm saying for me, parching better. But if you don't parch, that's totally fine. So we're just going to break it up, add it to the pot. So I want to keep moving this around in the pan so that it doesn't burn. I want to try and get an even patch on them. And the toastiness, a toasty vermicelli added to the milk let me tell you that is everything right there all right the milk looking good smelling real nice again 
all the flavors and the spices, all the aromas and the spices coming out. Now, I'm gonna add the parched vermicelli. And here I'll chow, I'll... Yeah, that is what we're talking about. That is level flavor inside there. It's gonna change the whole game already. Mm. You see that smell? That smell is the smell that used to fill up my house on Eid. That smell of sour wine, the unmistakable scent of the parched vermicelli hitting that milk. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, man. So the vermicelli needs about eight minutes to cook. And while that is doing its thing, I'm gonna quickly slice up these cherries. And these are very sweet, so that's why I don't need to add any condensed milk to mine. Again, if you have a real sweet tooth and you want to add condensed milk, by all means, go ahead and do that. But that is way too much sugar for me. So I'll be adding these cherries and they will sweeten up the dish. And I'll be adding a little bit of sugar as well, just to get a little more sweetness in it. But I don't like things too sweet, overly sweet. So this plus a little sugar, it's good enough for me. All right, we're looking good here. Vermicelli looking like it cooked, or the vermicelli. And now, let's add these cherries. Give that a little stir. And not only does it add sweetness, but it gives it a nice color as well. And I like my sawine to have a nice little color to it. So, yeah, we're looking good here. I'll give it a taste. Mm-hmm, real nice. It's gonna add a little bit of sugar, not too much. Give this a stir. So here now, we're looking real good here, you know. Again, all these spices, the vermicelli cooked. Get a nice color from the cherries. The only thing left to do is my favorite part, of course, and that is eating it. Now, some people like sawine cold or room temperature. I am not one of those people. I like my sawine hot. This is the kind of thing, you either love it or hate it. It's kind of in between. Some people really love sawine, some people hate sawine. I, obviously, am on team love sawine. Again, the sweetness from the cherries, the spices coming through, the cardamom, the clove, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, and the salt. Listen, don't forget to add the salt. The salt is what does bring all these flavors to life. Trust me, this is a good recipe. If you like this recipe, please give the video a thumbs up and give it a share. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to do so. And let me know in the comments how you just make your sawine, like how yours is different from mine. Would love to know. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.